In the north of the Gaza Strip, Israeli troops have been daily striking both the capital of the Palestinian enclave and its satellite towns. At the same time, the number of dead in the region has already exceeded 37,000 people. About 86,000 were wounded. The strike on al-Shati camp, which is located in the northwest of Gaza, was resonant. There, a series of hits killed several dozen people, including the sister of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh. IDF units launched a surprise offensive in al judaida southeast of the Palestinian enclave capital, midweek. The Israelis advanced along Abu al qas Street and reached Tunis Cemetery, where Palestinian militants ambushed them in a series of ambushes. A population evacuation was announced from al judaida and the neighboring areas of Al-Tufa and Al-Turkman. Crowds of locals traveled along the Salah al-Din Highway towards the expanded humanitarian zone. At the same time, Israeli forces intensified on the outskirts of the Tel al-Hawa neighborhood in the western part of the enclave capital. IDF units slightly expanded their control near the Ad Dadu traffic circle and the University College. The situation remained relatively calm in Beit Lahia, Beit Hanun, and Jabalia. The number of hits on satellite towns was among the lowest compared to the rest of the northern part of the enclave. In the central part of the Gaza Strip, the Israelis once again pounded uncontrolled population centers. A series of hits hit Nusayrat, Al-Maghazi, and al Braj, where daily casualties were not without casualties. At the same time, the humanitarian situation continued to deteriorate in Deir al-Bala. The situation remained dire at Al-Aqsa Hospital, where patient accommodation and medical supplies were almost exhausted. And in the south of the Gaza Strip, the Israel Defense Forces ground operation in Rafah continued. Fierce fighting took place in the Al-Shabura camp, which the Israelis attempted to encircle while advancing along Taha Hussein Street. At the same time, Israeli forces resumed strikes on Khan Yunis and nearby settlements. The strikes also hit the tents of refugees who had earlier fled due to the IDF offensive in Rafah. In the West Bank, the Israelis conducted another series of raids in Palestinian Authority towns. The largest operation took place in Silwad, where over 70 local residents were arrested. Palestinians organized ambushes and terrorist attacks targeting soldiers and civilians. One such attack killed a 66-year-old Israeli man whom militants accused of spying. And in Jenin, local militants successfully ambushed an IDF unit using improvised explosive devices. The commander of the Haruv Special Unit was killed and 22 other Israeli soldiers were wounded. On the border with Lebanon, the Israelis launched a series of strikes, the most massive in two months. Lebanon's Hezbollah also responded with rocket launches, but their intensity was down 50% from a month ago.